And welcome back, everybody, to the Stone Ooh. and Crane Show. Got Crane some, making some crane noises <laughs> over there. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I could make a crane noise. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be making the... I'm dying the, over here noises. The snap, the snap filled pollinated noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, gotta love pollen seasons, man. <clears throat> right. Okay. So we're just gonna jump right into this. Do it. Uh, MCU. Huh? Yeah. Can I fit this on the uh, on the screen correctly? Oh yeah, that looks good enough. So, as the title and as Kyle just said, we're going to be ranking uh, the MCU movies, Marvel Cinematic has, Universe. Yeah, as to date, right? So I guess we're still As to date, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing the uh, TV shows or anything else that ties in. Yeah, just the movies. Uh, just the 23 current movies although if you haven't seen wandavision or uh, falcon and the winter soldier man those are just like longer movies <laughs> yeah They're pretty no, good yeah. man production wise <coughs> pretty sweet anyways <coughs> let's so I guess I didn't even answer your question, but yeah, let's go by order of when they were made. Okay. Okay. I will say, I think my favorite line in any uh, of these movies is said um, in Iron Man. Which is... I'm going to need a bigger bow. What? <laughs> what did you say? You're going to need a bigger boat, dude. Going to need a bigger boat? Oh, no. God. It's the uh, it's the Tony Stark built this in a cave. <laughs> oh, he built this in a cave. Tony Stark built this in a cave. <laughs> he built this in a cave. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> With a box of scraps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Tony Stark outshining everyone. This was a very um, I don't know if you remember when this came out, but I do. Seen in theaters, man. <sighs> nice. I don't remember yesterday, so I can't tell you <laughs> if I saw this in theaters. Um, you know, coming into this movie, Robert Downey Jr. was not seen as a top actor i would say at least in box office movies well not anymore no not anymore you know he had gone down that bat that hill whatever he had gone through a lot of, um, a lot of cocaine man a little bit of everything <laughs> but he figured obviously time. figures it out yeah. Yeah. um and this movie was awesome i enjoyed it uh mm -hmm. i can't i just I don't think I could put this in S tier, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna put an S tier, dude. I'm arguing with you all day on this one. Uh, I don't care, dude. It's it's <sighs> everything about this movie from beginning to end is better than almost everything else on this list. <laughs> the, all, all the actors in it are better. The story's better. Well, yeah. When you everything... get actors to sign on that, <laughs> and well, they're not getting paid called... what they should be being paid, it's easy to get a crew like they did. That's well, the reason why be, they weren't able to keep. Were, none of these guys even got paid a lot of money back then with this movie because it wasn't. It was before they were even getting as much money with what they were sure. to do any of it. Sure. It was before all that nonsense was even happening. It was still not even there yet, and it still was a better. It was a better plot and it was better drawn out, and it was just better done than most of the other movies that are on this list. I just, I don't know. There's not very many other ones on there that I think that are up to the standard of this movie. Fully flushed out from beginning to end of the way this movie is. Uh, 
there's i mean i don't i don't realistically i, I think there's only like three other ones on here that i would even put in the s uh, s tier i mean maybe yeah and i'm i'm being really critical on these movies most of these i i most of them i won't even barely even put into the a tier there's a lot of these that no. I, I feel like are no super they're definitely i mean so. with as many movies as there are there's definitely gonna be some bad ones i mean <clears throat> hiccups of trying to figure out where they want to go i think they took some of these movies a little too seriously i think that's why some of them did bad like uh first couple thors made the characters yeah. a little too serious before they finally start loosening them up sure um you can put it where you want to put it for your thing you're controlling the keyboard man and the mouse you can put it where you want but i'm gonna i'm gonna stay where i stay my my yeah. point is s, s tier no we're gonna do s tier i just i don't have it in me right now to fight you so <laughs> <laughs> Hawk. The Incredible Hawk was made next. I feel like this is the least watched Avengers movie or Avengers movie. Moving the MCU out of all the movies. And it's fantastic. It, it's a pretty good film. I, would, I, like I don't know it. if I'd give it the fantastic label. I, I, Edward Norton is Edward Norton. Yeah. underappreciated oh, for this for role. Sure, man. He is way better than Mark Ruffalo, dude. Yeah. Uh, Mark Ruffalo is I like Mark Ruffalo. I oh, like yeah. him as, as, as the but, Hulk. I like him as Banner, but Edward Norton was, I felt like a much better Hulk. But money came into play, right? So Yeah, I, then again, yep. So, but it was... But it's a B, I feel like it's a B, B rank. Yeah. I wish they would bring in some of the, uh, you know, they brought in the general in... Mm-hmm. Civil War, but they really haven't taken much out of us. Like they say, um, I mean, they left off. I mean, blinking on his name, the, the, the abomination, abomination, yeah, yeah, Tim, Tim they, Roth, right? I mean, this movie, once again, you go back to the acting in it, full of great actors, dude. And yep, Tim Roth is abomination, you know, Ed Norton is, is the Hulk, and then I can't remember the guy that plays the general in his name. But he's great. Um, mm -hmm. um, fuck, is uh, Liv Tyler right? So, I mean, you you had you a lot of. I mean, and I liked the story too. I know a lot of people kind of knock knock the story a little bit, but I enjoyed it, man. I thought it yep. was good. It's um, a classic Hawk, yeah, movie really, or in the sense uh, of what the story is. Yeah, you know, it's Hawk being Hawk, and people see just seeing him and wanting to. You know, take him out basically because they're afraid of him. Yeah, oh, and he's got one of the better scenes in it too when he smashes Tim Roth's character when he kicks him. <laughs> <laughs> he's standing in front of him and he just fucking straight front kicks him in the chest and he goes flying into the tree. It's just fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah it's a B movie. Dude. It's not the best, but I like it. I mean, I feel like it's fantastic because of what it was at the time. Because the previous Hulks that we had had were bad, like really bad. And this was finally like a legitimate Hulk movie that was good. Because <laughs> that, was it Eric Bana? Was that the guy that played the Hulk in 2000? I don't remember. I can't remember his name, but I think that was Bana. But it wasn't good. And yeah, it, and then and of course, I mean, Lou Ferrigno was, was fun right back in the day, but yeah. it wasn't great, right? So. Yeah, that was good. Ah! Oh. What came out next? Iron Man 2? Or was it Thor? I don't Iron know. Man. Iron Man 2? Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. Yeah. The one... You forget, but should remember. I feel like Iron Man 3 is the one you remember, but should forget. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. So, I enjoy the ride, you know. Tony, Tony Stank 
Tony Stank. Tony Stank. Anyways, <laughs> is always you know, dealing. I know a lot of people don't like this because they feel like it erases a lot of what the first Iron Man. You know, they feel you know people feel like he grew in the first one, and then in the second one, he's just back to being this playboy. Of course, which I'm totally okay with. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna, you're kind of gonna go back to the way you were when you were. Not everything's a movie, yeah, <laughs> you know. It's like these love stories that happen in a movie that lasts an hour and a half, and it's like, yep, yeah. they're together forever now, right? Yeah. Wrong. So, um, hmm, what do you got, Iron Man to it? I, don't know, I struggled with it from B to C. I mean, I see your rank. I have, we have, I have a different ranking board. You had like C pluses and shit, <laughs> but uh, so you said I, B I to C. So you feeling C plus there? Yeah, we could put a C plus on yours. Would be, I'd be fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I, it was. I, I, it's a movie. Funny movie. I love. I still watch it. Oh yeah, I love the part um, with that kid when he's in the town, and. Uh, He's got to like rebuild his suit. <clears throat> He's trying to get by. It's very underrated, and I feel like you don't remember it, but I enjoy it. Yeah, it, I like I like the. You know, I, I don't mind the whiplash stuff, right? I think Why? that's the. So, it's um. Yeah, it's the fun. enemy isn't as entertaining i think that's where it lacks probably the most yeah the, but, stuff, the plot wasn't the best and stuff like that it, it was i feel like it was a failed attempt but it, it was a fun movie it's still oh, yeah. entertaining because it's you know yeah Robert Downey jr's iron man so we got war machine yeah and i think that's where a lot of it comes to fun is you get war machine out of it you know yeah. and then you get him they get them fighting a bunch of iron man suit type characters right with yeah kind of like drones and that's, shit. and that's pretty fun so man yeah, you yeah. know how easy it is and we'll get to this when we go over Iron Man 3, but as soon as somebody is not in an Iron Man suit, you know how easy it is to blow one of those fuckers up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost like they wrote it that way. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a big uh, problem I have with Iron Man 3. You have all these great suits that Tony Stark, you know, when in, he seems practically unstoppable, and then they all just kind of yeah. explode. Yeah, this is weird, right? So... Uh. Now we got Did Thor, I, right? Now we got Thor, yeah. First Thor. What happened to first Thor? Yeah, this is the one where he fights <laughs> the giants, man. The ice giant oh, people. yeah. Yeah, we get Loki. Yeah. Introduced to Loki. And then he gets, it's then probably he gets the best part of this. Earth. What? Yeah. And he gets banished to Earth and shit, and he loses his armor, and then he fight, then Loki takes over, and he's got to fight that giant thing, and... And yep. he gets his armor back, and uh, um, you know, a lot of a lot of great characters. None of it oh, was yeah. very good. Some great actors too. I, I like mean, um, their uh, the whole people. fighting squad that he kind of fights with. I forget what. Man, those were all great. Yeah, all great, all great. Everybody in this movie is great except for Natalie Portman. <laughs> it's all so bad. Uh, I think she's fine in this oh, movie. No, I was fucking bad. <laughs> I could have put on a wig and did better acting than that. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, dude. Oh, God, dude. I would rather had Kristen Stewart in that role. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's don't know. where do you have it? C. C. C for yeah, Thor. Yeah. Sore, C. <laughs> Fucking C for cold sore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, then we have Captain America, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Captain, Captain America, America, the first Avenger. Yeah. I love this movie. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot too. It's a little boring. Is it for you? Yeah. yeah it's... For me, for me, it's a little boring. Um, I thought it was a really good character build. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I didn't... I mean, I, I, did, I mean, it's really well done. Don't get me wrong. The, the CGI in this is really great with him and the little body and stuff. And 
it it was really believable. I just I don't know, man. I just it was a good movie. I'm just there's points, man. I'm just bored. And I don't know. I don't okay. know if that's just that's just you. That's just me. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like for the first Captain America, man, I wanted some. I wanted some fucking action, you know. And I felt like it took too long to get there. Yeah, no, I, I see your point, but at the same time, you know, to build the character we we love. You, you were, yeah, now, you had to get there. Yeah, I get there. it. And that's what I mean. You had a good character. I had this. That's, that's, yeah, I had this at A. Where do you got this? That's I was struggling with A and B, so A is fine. Want to go A? Yeah, yeah, I'm good with A. It's a okay. great dude. It's it's a fantastic movie. I don't. Dude, Chris Evans is always a win, man. And, right. you know, and Tommy Lee Jones is great, right? And everything else that I can't remember her name right now, that's going to crush me, the the chick that's in this. Um, yeah, she's amazing, right? And that's going to, God, I can't, I can't remember her name. Eats me right now. But she, it's great, dude. And, every, and then um, Hugo Weaving, right? As Red Skull is fantastic so uh-huh it's just you know it's really and it's good dude and like i said it just for me the, the only it, it almost could be s a to s for me if it just was a little bit more and that's that's just me being picky and that's picky, me picky. I'm, I'm picky on these movies because i where people hold them at as such a high standard and that's just me being picky yeah so what do we got next we got dark world or do we got avengers i can't remember uh avengers Avengers. Yeah. Avengers. Assemble. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got that S tier, man. Yeah, the S tier. Yeah. That was great. Loki I was fucking amazing in this movie. Yeah, dude. Hiddleston's a beast. But he is. Everything about this movie is, is amazing, dude. I, I love the way they did it, how they handled them coming together. Uh, it is great. This, I don't know, I just, got, or just reminded myself, I feel so bad for Hawkeye. Like, he's been on this team for how many years, and then fucking Peter Parker shows up out of nowhere and gets this basically Iron Man suit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just still over there shooting fucking <laughs> sticks at people. Yeah. Like, come know, on, man. He eventually gets a really cool side side piece at the end right where they pretty much turn him into what is is it the ronin character ronin yeah that's an end game or yeah end game right but... finally kind of gets a badass a little 15 minute of fame there at the end man but yeah i mean he was he was mad about it right um rainer rainer Jeremy i don't know I know. I remember when that movie came out i thought i already he was a little bit upset about having to be a bad guy for a little while in the movie uh, I can't remember a little bit about. I don't know. I, this movie's great though, dude. I mean, you uh, finally got to see. I mean, this was the new Hulk, you know, and the Hulk smash part was fucking awesome as shit. And <laughs> uh, puny <Harry's> god. <laughs> What's that? I said puny god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just he, there was so much fun in this movie, and uh, yeah, there was just a lot of stuff in this. It was just really great, man. I mean, the argument between. Tony and Steve in the plane, you know, and that was fun to see where he tells them everything great about you was creating a bottle and movie. shit. And, yeah, what's that? So I gotta rewatch this movie. It's been too yeah, long. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I just watched. I watched the most of these not that long ago. Over the last few years, I think the other one. There's a couple of my refused to rewatch because I just I disliked them so much, so I just won't rewatch them. But yeah, I have only seen. Thor and Thor Dark World once each, and I've seen yeah. Ragnarok probably like six times now. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen Ragnarok <laughs> so many times, man. Right, it is <laughs> it's just so good. Such uh, anyway. a great switch. Yeah, Avengers is uh, amazing. But yeah, it's, Avengers. It's a good job. Next one is Iron Man three. Iron Man three. Uh, this is. Where are you? This is a hard one, man. This it's this so... one I struggled with C and C and D for me. Yeah, because it's just it just wasn't very good, man. Ugh. I got it. I got. It's it almost like here. they went for more flair versus they did substance. Mm-hmm. You know, and you had once again filled with a ton of great actors in it, and it's just this guy Pierce is phenomenal. 
and you just wasted them on a shit character. And then you had, um, fuck, what's his name now? King, uh, I don't know, I'm blanking again. Yeah, you are. This is not good. What you blinking on, buddy? The fucking actor's name. (laughs) But yeah, you just had a lot of, I don't know, man. uh, Ben Kingsley, there we go. You know, as as the Mandarin, right? And you're going into it thinking one thing, and then they tried to pull this, like, bait and switch on you, and it just failed. Fuck the bait and switch, baby. That was a hor. It was just a bad decision by the, the creating team, and just... not quite. I mean, it's definitely worse than the the newest uh, Spider-Man bait and switch, but yeah, that's uh... bad, dude. Yeah, it's such a disappointment. I heard they were. Yeah. Uh, aren't they making a TV show on the actual rings, though? Uh, I, I, I think uh, they are. That'd be cool. Yeah. Get some because it's like one of his one of Iron Man's main arch nemesis, and you just kind of yeah throw him off like he's nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was frustrated about. That's what I was hoping you were supposed to get. You know, because he said, you know, he's not going to do any more standalone Iron Man. So here he is. This is his like main guy. We're going to get this epic film, and they just fuck. And he's. You know, with all of his rings, you know, he's strong enough for it to be an Avengers type event, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's fucking weird, dude. Just weird, weird fucking crap. Anyway, D. D Uh, Next one, we got Dark World. I'm just going to slide that right into D. (laughs) Man, you talked about Captain America taking a slow start. That's what really hindered this even more is it took a really long time <laughs> for this movie to pan out. And even then it was like, eh, okay, I guess, yeah, I guess we know what that, you know, stone does. <laughs> I think, do you remember what that stone does? Cause I don't. <laughs> the reality stone, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's just, but it is man, some, like, know, weird things like, I don't know. It was boring, dude. The movie was just boring. It was. <laughs> Everything about the movie was boring. Even the fucking the actor that played the bad guy. What's this fucking goddamn? He played Doctor Who a little bit. He he, mm. he was just like this movie's trash. <laughs> 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 this is garbage. <laughs> this is like a bad movie. So it's just you know it's just not good, man. It's just not a good movie. We can just don't. I've watched it. I watched it when it came out, and then everyone was like, "This movie's garbage." When I first came out, I was like, "Okay, I, I didn't mind it." It was—I was like, when I seen it in theaters, I was like, oh, "Okay, you know, it's not—it's not bad." Because you got to remember, at this time, there's, we only had these first few. Yeah. So I was like, compared to them, it was definitely the worst out of the bunch. And I was like, "But let me rewatch it after it came out." So when it, finally some other stuff had come out, okay, it's still the worst. So then I watched it again. I'm like, "All right, it's getting worse." Yeah, this movie—this movie's not any good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watched it. I watched it a couple of years ago, and it's still not good. So it's Might got to watch it one more time scenes. to make sure it's not good. Yeah, it's got some great fight scenes, great CGI, like most of the MCU does, right? They don't really fail in that marketplace of it. No, but it's just not good. And once again, Natalie Portman is not good. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. She's just not good. She's definitely worse in this one than the first one. You've seen Star Wars, man. She's not good in that either. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's she's bad in everything. So it doesn't help that she's in this a lot. And it's just not good. So. Not to say it's her fault. It's just there's a lot of bad adding. And, and, and Hemsworth is, is, a, is good. But he's better in other roles that actually give him like substance to act in. Yeah. You know, I think his like brother Thor, is a better actor. Yeah. I, I, yeah. And with like Ragnarok, I felt like that's where he shines in that more comedy type. Oh yeah. 
you know, essence. Where like when you try to give him this, like they were like Rush was great, right? Where he had this type of character was fine. Oh yeah, where he was a really good character. Love but like where, where this like, this comic book trying to be serious kind of character just didn't work. But this, the, where you know, I don't know. Anyway, we can just move on from this horrible fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Now the one thing with Winter Soldier. I get a lot of shit confused between Winter Soldier and Civil War. <laughs> okay. I feel like they mesh. I don't know why. Yeah. For me, they mesh so much. You could you could probably just had them go almost back to back, even though they were so far apart. Right. Well, they were two years apart, but they almost do kind of link pretty close. Yeah. You're still, it's still kind of about Bucky, right? Yeah. So this is where he finds out like who he is and shit. Yep. Um I'm trying to make sure I don't confuse him. <laughs> oh man. This is, Falcon was introduced in this movie too. Yep, this is where he first comes into play. Which is awesome. Um, yeah, this is all Black Widow, Falcon, and Captain America. Yep. Um, and this is when they find out that Hydra is still around. Yeah, yeah. Not and only I... just around. Okay, yeah, this is the one where he takes down the, um, what are those, heli things? Yeah, the, the big carrier thing and shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... He's got that sweet scene of him holding onto the helicopter and the railing. Fuck yeah. Just flexing his muscles and shit. <laughs> Buff ass Chris Evans. Somebody got swole for this role. <laughs> dude, Chris Evans is a sexy beast, man. Sexy. What do you got this movie? Uh, it's another one, dude, for me. I, I, I This movie is fucking action packed, man. And Oh, it is for sure. Good acting, dude. I I love the. the. the the mental fight battle with this with with captain america and fighting having to fight that character with fighting the winter soldier and shit it's great so you know this movie was hard to rank because i don't want to put too many of these ones that i like in the s tier that's because these are s tier what's that what Ah, i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) oh those aren't those aren't s tier (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, so I mean I I have this at A, but that's where I that's where I ended up putting it. Okay, then we can agree on A plus then. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, next is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this was such a great kind of change of pace that yeah. mcu i feel like needed you know they got off of earth they were able to really spread their wings with the cgi which has been uh you know as we've been talking about a strong suit yeah for these movies and then they do a movie that's practically practically just cgi (laughs) yeah so it was awesome movie um let's see really good makeup practical makeup work too for gamora and drax oh yeah they did a fantastic job with their makeup man and just God. god i got i'll tell you right now that i got volume two ahead of this one really I do. I love volume two. The so the Dude, villain oh, is wow. worse. Or I mean the villain is worse, but I love I don't know, I love the feel of it. It is such a happy movie. <laughs> I, see, I don't I don't I don't even have volume I don't yeah, I don't like volume two really that much at all. You don't? No, just because I don't it's not that I dislike it. I I, I like volume two. It's got Kurt Russell in it. <laughs> I just You gotta love it. <laughs> I, I feel like it, it just, there was some unnecessary stuff in it, and I felt like it was one of those ones. It was let's put some dramatic effect in it just for the purpose of doing it. Sure. And it was 
it was just a little it was a little weird for volume two so i i have this one just for i don't know man this one once again plot reasons acting all of that stuff i have it as an a but it was just because i struggled with a and b but you i think, don't know where do you have it you want to fill in that b plus spot or you think yeah, this ranks this with b first i'm gonna do b plus that's fine with me okay What do we got? But it's just man, it's so man, it was such a good movie, man. It's so fun. Got uh, what? Ultron next? Yeah, Ultron. Ultron. Yeah. Fuck, man. Who voice acted Ultron? James Spader. I love James Spader. Yeah. <laughs> oh, especially the strings part that they used yep. for uh Um was you know media on this uh movie oh my god mm -hmm. Woo! i have no more strings yeah 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 i it's good dude it's a fun movie it's another one of those ones where it's it's yeah. fun no but, i you know. i'm not saying it's a it's definitely not an a or no. better you know i i have it around in that b area but mm -hmm. again it's, it's just it's not bad. I don't think there's really a bad. No, I think they could have handled. Um, I didn't like Wanda Quicksilver, and Quicksilver. Yes. Yeah. Part better. I, I like feel like that was just kind of thrown in just to have them. You know, yeah. I know. It, I don't know. It's. They didn't do Quicksilver justice at all, man. Oh they, no, they, they fucking didn't. didn't. Dude is. I don't they... know. You, you've seen? Have you seen WandaVision? No, I haven't watched WandaVision yet. Man, they, I was waiting for that to get done. It's easy and real hard in that fucking show. <laughs> yeah, and then um, the one, and then the Falcon one to get done. I was going, then we we're going to marathon both of them. Oh, they're not really related. I know, but I don't want to. I'm just going to watch them all in one sitting. Well, now, uh, now they're doing Loki. Yeah, <laughs> here soon. Yeah, uh, this is. I mean, it's a fun movie. I just. Ultron was great, dude. And then you had Vision, right? Which, oh yeah, oh man, fucking Paul Bettany finally getting his just due to be an actual character is fantastic. <laughs> I'm a huge Paul Bettany fan, man, and to have him finally get on screen and not just be the voice of Jarvis was it was amazing. <laughs> so, you know what's weird but i feel like people don't realize like jarvis died in this movie like straight up dead yeah <laughs> i feel like people don't give enough mention to that yeah it's like jarvis is no more he's now that's what happened that's yeah. vision, vision is sure. now yeah yeah but he isn't the same like he's the same you know obviously same voice actor and like same protocols maybe i don't know has kind of, like, none of the yeah, memories yeah. therefore he's yeah. not the same yep you know yeah other than quicksilver yeah. he he uh ultron also killed straight up killed jarvis yeah never thought i could feel that much for a robot yep <laughs> <laughs> uh. man i still think i still think it'd be cool I was tough now at this point, but I still think it would have been cool if there was almost like an Age of Ultron Part Two, where one of his droids got away or something. Yeah, because Ultron's that. another one of those where that. they have some comics of him like literally taking over the world, like fucking some shit. Up, yeah, man. like yeah, Ultron's no fucking joke. You know? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> They kind of did a thing where they like decided not to bring Thor in until the very end of the movie for some reason. Yeah, they've done that a couple of times. I felt like they they Thor is so fucking powerful. Shit, it's hard to. Yeah, they had to power gap some shit, you know. Oh yeah. So, well, next next we have Ant Man. <laughs> Talk about power. <laughs> Just a regular dude in a suit. I squish you. Oh my god! I'm throw Thomas the freaking train at you <laughs> <laughs> choo 
That's so funny. That's what we guys see. <laughs> and it falls over. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a fun movie, man. Oh, my Guardians. God. I love, I love this man. comedy movie. It's a good time, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And, and, well, Paul Rudd is always a win, dude. Mm-hmm. He's just like, he's a 10, 10 click win every time, always, no matter what movie he's in. It's just, he's the shit. <laughs> so, I'm a. I'm a He's he's well he's got my my favorite comedy movie of all time is a Paul Rudd movie so what's that I love you man you ever uh, seen that yeah yeah it's that's my favorite comedy movie of all, of all time so it's and then my second favorite comedy movie of all time he's in that too is Forgetting Sarah Marshall and he's in that for a little bit too mm-hmm. so but he's got a couple of the best lines in that whole movie so but he's he's amazing dude and having him like play like a comic book character is just fucking genius. So, mm. yeah. I love the. My friend told me this one thing that I heard it from this guy that I heard it from this guy part. Oh yeah, with uh, who's that? It's the Pena, right? Michael Pena character. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. Crazy. <laughs> they, there was rumors that they were supposed to do when he was supposed to recap the entire MCU up to this point, or something like that. So that'd be fucking hilarious to see him do that. Oh yeah. But where I do you have how... this from, man? Oh, I threw oh, this at B. B? Yeah, okay. And, man, yeah. we might we can go back at the end of this, too, and, f- and rearrange some of these. I wouldn't mind. No. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, What do we got next? Uh, Next one is Captain America Civil War. Civil War. Civil War. Oh, my God. The final fight scene between the three of them. Wow. Yeah, I've watched that probably a hundred fucking times, man. Dude, it is that is awesome? It's so sad and awesome to watch <laughs> Iron Man get his ass That kicked. and the Spider Man scene, probably a hundred fucking times. Cool, you have a metal arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Spider Man beats the shit out of Winter Soldier and Falcon at the same time. Oh my awesome. god, that is awesome. But but yeah, that that ending fight scene is just. It's everything you want, right? Out of a out of a movie, essentially, especially out of a yeah. type of a comic book drama action film, is you want that drama, you know? So you broke my heart, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> breaking, killing me, man. Uh, Stomping on my heart. Yeah, it's just man. a great, great scene, man. And um, yeah, and, I don't know, man. It's, it's a good movie. It's yeah, definitely. It's a good movie, dude. Um, see, if I had the, the rankings of the A plus ones like you guys, see, mine's different. I don't know why I have a different one than you. I probably would be oh, a little bit these. more different on some of my tiering. I added my the pluses. Might... Oh, you added the pluses? Yeah, yeah you could oh, you could get see, this thing over here. See, see, I fucking failed on the on the plus. I'm almost mark. thinking we can we can take a step back here. This first Captain America, I'm almost thinking about moving it down to B plus, honestly. Yeah, let's we can do that. We can take. I don't know back. if. Especially this first Guardians, I don't. I wouldn't say Captain America is better than the first Guardians movie. I'd say it's on par, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll get to. What do we got next? Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah, it rolling. Yeah. Where'd you got Civil War at? I ended a up putting it A plus. A plus. And the next one we have Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. I love this movie, dude. This is a great movie. Reminds me a lot of uh, Batman, <laughs> which is what? the story, anyways. Well, as we want a what? Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman. I'm Doctor Strange. <laughs> no, it's not what I meant. <laughs> no, he literally travels the world. Yeah. Seeking... And he gets his gets his power from some Eastern European character. <laughs> Also not what I meant. Oh, Eastern Asian character side. Oh my gosh. Eastern East, East Asian. Uh, uh, but Anyways. she's not in this movie. She's white. <laughs> right. Uh, she bought it, though. We'll give her uh, something. <laughs> yeah, I I like this man because once again I, I went into this movie with like I didn't really know much about Doctor Strange so. I did a little research before going into it, you know, and did some like back looking and stuff and 
to like find out more about the like the history. So I didn't have like as much of a emotional attachment to the character as some other comic book nerds did. So I really enjoyed it, man. I loved everything about it. And then Mads Mikkelsen's fantastic, so I like watching him and things, so but I feel like where they dropped the ball on this movie is the villain a bit. In I feel like we don't get enough backstory on him. Yeah, and and that's yeah, I agree because Mads is you talking about Dormammu or are you talking about No Mads, Well I guess Mads both, Nicholson but characters. Nicholson more. Yeah. Um I mean we get a little bit, you know, although the fact that he's basically a rebel. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the sense of being against what he was with at one point. I don't know. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, yeah. I mean, Dormanu at, I know, oh, again, you know, it's hard to do anything with yes, sir. that. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, no, and I, I agree. I feel like they, they touched on it just a tad, right, that he, he trained under them and then he wanted more power, which is really cliche, right, of most villains that – Yeah. He was good, and he wanted more power, and we told him no, and then he did it anyway. What? So, you told him no? And he he couldn't hold his patience, and blah, 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 right? So, yeah, it's pretty cliche, and then he had a following, right? He had people in the dojo or whatever fucking wanted to go with him. So, yeah, I mean, they could have flushed out the character more, but I felt like they spent a lot of time with Doctor Strange's character development Yeah, in the beginning. Which sure. took away from the villains' development, mm-hmm. and then you had once again the two villains, right, with the Dormammu and Caecilius's shit. So you had to like uh-huh. find your evening out period. If you would have just picked one, they probably would have been okay, right? They could have spent yeah. time with because they spent a lot of time at that end. Well, they kind of go hand in hand. I mean, they do, but. You gotta fucking try to figure it out where you're gonna go. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's a B. B, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. alright then. Yeah, when I first seen it, I would have put it a lot higher, but going back and rewatching it a few times that I have, I, I definitely um, have lowered it in recent years versus when I had first seen it. Yeah. Mainly because it was it it blew away my expectations. What we got next? Uh, volume two, Guardians. Volume two, I'm Mary Poppins. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff in this movie. I mean, I just the villain is just, I mean, meh. Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I it would have been weird. what? I thought it was weird. I just thought it was weird in having it. I don't know, be like his dad, and it was just. I don't know. It was just it's weird because his his dad in the comics is a completely different character, and I don't know. It felt like it took away from his. It felt like it took away from the actual storyline of Star Lord of like where his history is at and shit. Sure. And so. Yeah, and it kind of presents this awkward, like, does he have powers or no? Yeah. What's that? So that's, <laughs> that's one of the very few instances of, like, where the comic books ruined the movie for me a little bit. And it's mm. like... Ah, uh, uh, it's weird, right? So it's just, yeah, it's, it's fucking weird. Because it's like, I don't... Didn't read a lot of the Guardian stuff, but I read a little bit of it, and that's one of the ones where it's like my answer to pick up it was going to be maybe they'll go this route, and they just didn't. So I was kind of like, huh, like that's fucking weird, and I just was kind of like mentally kind of fucked about it. So I think that's why I was maybe I should go back and rewatch it, and my mind might change about it. So that's probably because yeah. I haven't watched it in a long time. I think you just need to have a little more fun with it. Yeah. Where'd you rank it at? I got it right in the middle. I got that B. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, C plus, I still B, think it's a super, super fun movie, man. You can't 
can't go wrong with the characters that are in it and the way that it's done and what they do with them are they're fun movies. It's not it's not like it's a bad movie. I just felt like the plot wasn't really great. That was my only like like knock on it and stuff. And fucking baby Groot's the shit. So Fuck yeah, him, he is. fucking him running through that like rafter shit and he's like fucking ah! <laughs> Thing, oh you know? god and he's like bringing him all this like different shit he's like asking for the helmet or oh i love that part he's like brought him like a fucking what it was like a finger or a foot or something yeah i get a toe or something <laughs> yeah like a toe right <laughs> it's like, so where the it's fuck like, did you even get that <laughs> it was just fucking awesome dude. oh man yeah it's just, it's just great characters dude and then i mean rockets yeah it's just really good really good stuff man in those because you movies. me you mean? I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's fun, dude. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, Spider Man, Homecoming. Spider Man, Homecoming. Definitely not an Iron Man Junior. <laughs> Fuck. Pretty, pretty sweet suit, dude. I, I don't oh. know, man. That's the one thing that tilts me a bit. Is like we get all these Spider Mans, and all they have, you know, they have, sh- you know, strength and the ability to climb walls and shoot webs and their spider tingly sense. And then we got this Spider Man, which is just Iron Man 2.0 with some spider abilities. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, he's, oh man, is he, is he more than that, though? Like, sure, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. <laughs> I mean, I guess you gotta, you gotta differ somehow, right? You can't just keep putting the same Spider-Man out there. No, and that's it, right? You can't keep doing the same fucking thing over and over and over again, which yeah. they keep doing, but yeah, I don't know. Where'd you have this ranked in these lists? Spooderman, Spooderman, gonna do whatever a Spooderman does. Um, I'd rank it B plus. Yeah, I'd rank it with these movies. Yeah, cool with that. All right, now we get some of the best Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm putting this A right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking uh, amazing, dude. Is it as great as these ones? No. But is it one hell of a funny fucking movie? <laughs> yes. Dude, this movie? Oh, dude. It's, I think it's, I don't know if it's better than the rest of them as like a movie goes, but I think it might be my favorite. It's probably my favorite oh my MCU God. movie. It's... It's Period. probably mine and Skylar's favorite movie, favorite MCU movie to watch together for sure. Yeah. We have watched it many a times. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I think me and Rebecca's too. I think it's other than the first Iron Man and then and th- this one. Those are probably our favorite too that we watch the most mm-hmm. of when we're not doing anything else. It's it, because it's they're fucking the first Iron Man because it's a classic and then. The Thor Tell Ragnarok. me Stark built this in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get Thor over that Ragnarok. line now. <laughs> yeah. It's our fucking Ragnarok, man, just because of everything about it. Dude. We're friends from work. <laughs> <laughs> I know this guy. Oh, uh, man. The fucking Loki. I could pick yeah. out the funniest yeah. line <laughs> from like every single one of these movies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or my favorite, anyhow. Uh, uh. Yeah. Smash. I'm a really big fan of the sport. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we don't even have <sighs> fucking Jeff Goldblum too. Jeff fucking Goldblum. Fucking fucking in a superhero Goldblum. film. <laughs> fucking awesome. That man. is, man. That's you can't go wrong, man. Can't and then this has go wrong. Has. With like out of all of the MCU's, it has one of the best like fight ending scenes when he comes in on the bridge to fucking goddamn Zeppelin, dude, and he's like oh. just starts smashing fucking ass, dude. Just 
beating the shit out of everybody is great. Dun, 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 and you got dun, Hulk dun, fighting dun, a dun, fucking dun, giant dun, wolf. You got Bruce you know, Banner like, going smack. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got fucking Hulk fighting a wolf. You got fucking Thor, Thor beating ass. You got Loki fighting fucking people. Dude, you got... And then you had... What the, what's his fucking face, man? The gatekeeper guy. He's fucking fighting people. Right, dude, so it's just... You just had just fucking awesome shit, dude. Yeah. It's just a great... <sighs> It makes yeah, the makes beginning of Infinity War just so much harder to swallow, because you know it literally happens right after this. Yeah. Yep. Um, but now uh, next one, so where do you have? We have Ragnarok. You had A. A. Yeah. Yep. Now we have Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh, talk about great fucking villains. I loved Michael B. Jordan. I don't know what you think about it, but. I love this fucking character, man. Yeah, I, I do. I like Michael B. Jordan, dude. I think, you know, I, I, I like him in a lot of things. I just watched, I rewatched Chronicle the other day, and he's great in that. And that movie's old, like not old, but it's older. It's and he's old. he's so good in that, dude. Um, yeah. But no, nah, it, it, him is kill, it's Killmonger, right? Killmonger, and, yep. Uh, yeah, just, just, God, dude, really well done, dude. And, Man, I, I like this movie. What don't you like about it? The CGI. The CGI. Every you mean they're like has... subway fight scene? The subway at the end. Yeah, that subway what? fight scene was a little awkward. I Dirk, think a 2002 Blade CGI, dude. <laughs> it's definitely it better was... than that shit. It was I think the whole old CGI, dude. I, I think where they the went wrong they is in. the cgi of the whole suit absorbing hits like they do a much better job in the next few movies but i feel like they lost it there a bit i, I think well i think that was in the whole environment too with the train fucking coming and yeah like it no, was just it was all had it was 100 percent cgi else. fight like what you have you have two great actors yeah in i get you wanting to fight in the suits but you don't have to make it a CGI fight. You can let them fight in the suit and still do it. There's a ton of ton of them that do great choreography in their suits, right? Sure. So why are we doing this? Because you had a great choreography scene early in the movie when they were almost butt naked. And why not just do it again in the scene? Like, I just don't... That's what just baffles me is you, you, you have this decent movie through the whole thing and then you ruin it with this horrible horrible 20 year old cgi at the end of it and it was just i don't know it was just crap dude because it's great dude it's great stuff yeah. happening and then freaking chadwick boseman is phenomenal out of this whole fucking movie and i don't think it's as good as everybody else said it was because that was part of it i didn't see it until later and everybody was like, it's the best movie in the MCU. <laughs> and it's the best movie of all time. And Yeah, uh, that's a bit pushing it, but... Everybody hyped it. Dude, it was the hype around this movie. <sighs> oh, it's fucking worse, dude. <laughs> and when I seen it, I was like, oh, it's another superhero movie. It's okay. It's not the best. And the CGI wasn't even that good. And not even that just that scene, but a lot of it wasn't as good as what I thought it should have been compared to other movies that were out. And that's what just disappointed me. The acting, top notch. Everybody in that movie was fucking phenomenal. And it was beautifully done in those senses. It's just that CGI fucking ruined it for me. <laughs> and it's just it is sad that it had to be to that point. Oh, yeah. So I got this at A. I'll give you one. You give me one? <laughs> I don't want to argue with you about it. I think you're giving the CGI bit maybe a little too much crap. I'm not. Rewatch it again. I will. <laughs> I'm not, dude. Rewatch that and then go watch Blade 2. Now watch uh, the fight scene where he fights the vampires inside of his compound. It's the same CGI. Uh, that shit is garbage then and it's garbage now. And it's the same CGI, dude. It's, not, it's unacceptable for hundreds of billions of dollars they've made. It's, it's just, it's not, it's not acceptable, dude. Okay, what do we got next? 
uh, Infinity War. Really? Yeah. Name another Wasp. Wasp came out in July. Infinity War came out in April. Yeah, but it was before. Timeline-wise, though, it was before, wasn't it? You said release date, so we're doing release date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I'm just... Infinity War, here we are. Oh! What? Bag A1? Not possible! Yeah. I love this movie. Yeah. Bad Got Squidward? Thanos, Thanos is the best. Yeah, fucking Squidward in it, man. <laughs> uh, I love those parts. Thanos, Thanos is the best. Yeah. You talk about Spider Man and Iron Man suits. This is the one he gets a super Iron Man suit in. Uh. <laughs> I like in uh, Endgame when he just like spider kill mode. Die, die, die. die. Yeah. Dude. Oh, in Endgame? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> and that fight scene. Oh, my God. Yeah. But, yeah. No. Um, back to Infinity War. Yeah. Um. This was, I think this movie was so great on, you know, obviously not the only fact, but I think a big portion of it is how unpredictable it was. I don't think anyone saw. I mean, sure, people thought people were gonna die, but not like this. Um, and I yeah, definitely don't think they saw Thanos actually winning. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it a little bit. I I like this movie just basically on how awesome Thanos is, and you know the fight scenes are great as shit. Um, yeah, it's fucking awesome dude yeah the only sad part about it is star lord being a bitch <laughs> like they had him he was a bitch how is he being a bitch though they i mean you're talking about a guy that can kill everything and you're gonna mess it up because your bay is missing <laughs> Is it just his bay though, or is it the love of his life? Love of my life, my ass. You don't know that though, dude. Let me grab the love of your life and kidnap her and take her away and let me see what you do for her. Skylar, let me know you die. It's for the world. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I will murder every one of you. I will slit your throats and watch you all die in front of me for my wife. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no fucks given. It's not gonna happen. I I don't I see I see Star Lord's point of view. Is he sure. was, did he make the wrong choice? Yes, for sure. Yeah. But and, it's an emotional standpoint from an, a completely emotional person that they built into that character throughout all of the, all of his movies, right? So he is like the womanizer, right? In womanizer, ooh, ooh, ooh. he finally found somebody that wasn't gonna let him be that way, right? That he finally found his his woman, his his, his person. So when this motherfucker took him, took her from him, he snapped and he fucking blew it, which resulted in everybody fucking dying. Yep, which they fucking didn't. So. So really, did he make the bad choice? No. Yeah. <laughs> Black Widow would still be alive. Ah, fuck her. <laughs> what do you got this? I have it an S. You have it an S? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great, dude. It's a fun movie, man. Just because, like, what you talked about, the unpredictability of it, dude, and then Thanos actually winning at the end of it. <sighs> Thor being arrogant like all like always you know coming in with the fucking axe dude and fucking hitting him in the chest and then thanos being like should have went for the head and then fucking snapping and then watching everybody fade into weird ash type characters was just a really brilliant way to fucking 
Best part. Haven't. In fact, we got to see Thor with dad bod. Oh, that wasn't until the next one. I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Because of the oh, snap. Okay. We oh, got Thor with dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> dad bod. Yeah, that's a hero to all dad bods out there. Yeah, I love this movie, dude. I, I've, I've rewatched it quite a few times, and I still, still like it, dude. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, him being teleported in and fighting all the little fucking monsters, dude. And then he tells Captain America that he stole his beard. He stole my look. This <laughs> <laughs> shit's fucking fun, man. So, yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun movie, dude. It's amazing. Yeah, well, Ant Man and the Wasp next. Yep, Ant Man and the Wasp. That's good. It's a fun movie. Yeah, another great fun movie. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that he gets big. <laughs> he gets big. He gets real big. Just real, real big. Yeah, I like this movie, dude. It's enjoyable. I mean, we yeah, got a real, know. real villain. That's I think on level. You know, it's not some Avengers threat level type thing. It's not where you know you need to call in every single goddamn guy on the planet to for it. So I feel like it fits. I feel like Ant Man and the Wasp. I love that they introduced the Wasp. Uh, fits in this, and she is much more of a badass than Ant Man is. Yeah, much more of a badass. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, um, I got this at B plus. Yeah, yeah. I think it was better than the first one. Yeah, I agree. Long lines of those ones. Yeah, I think so too. I thought it had you know better plot driven out, do better story, better, better, all of the above. It's yep. like the first one and they made it better. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Whoa, we got Marvel, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Just stay in the D rank for me. <laughs> I I dislike this movie as much as I do the first Thor. <laughs> it's definitely a better movie than the first Thor. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think so, but I know I this is just one of those ones. This is another one of those hype jobs, dude. I fucking, I watched this movie twice. The first time I watched it, I was like, oh, maybe I'm just superheroed out, right? I'm just, I've had enough. I got superhero fatigue. Maybe I was just in a bad mood that day. I don't know what it was. I was like in a good mood one day. I was like, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch this movie. Let's give it another try. Watch it. Nope. This movie's fucking trash. <laughs> What's so, bad about it? I dude, everything, dude. <laughs> don't like the fucking villains. I don't Scroll. fucking don't like her at all. She's fucking no emotion on screen whatsoever. It's like watching. She makes a, a very good thinking face. Dude. A lot of times for a lot of different emotions. <laughs> <laughs> She's got resting bitch face all the time. Yeah, just like Skyler. And my wife my wife has the same fucking face, so it's yeah, okay. No, it's everyone. <laughs> I was giving her shit for the other day for it. It's like, why are you mad at me? She's like, I'm not. I'm like, your face says otherwise. <laughs> <It's interesting. laughs> oh, my wife has some shit going on, and one of her old coworkers was like, well, as long as you didn't have your face on, you're okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Because <laughs> he knows that she has resting bitch face. So... Yeah, I do Brie Larson. And I'm, and I'm not saying that Brie Larson's a, a, a bad... She's definitely not as bad as Natalie Portman as an actress. Brie Larson's good in a lot of things that I've seen her in. I liked her in, in Kong Skull Island, right? I liked her in that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I liked her in the small role she played in, like, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Um, and oh, some yeah. of the other stuff that I've seen her in, I, I've, I've liked her in. I just felt like Kevin Marvel was like... I don't know, dude. I felt like it lacked substance in... So many different areas, man, and it just I like it fucking Jude Law in this movie, dude, and I fucking didn't even like him in it, and I love Jude Law. And it's like uh, uh, It's because he's a know. bitch in this movie. Yeah, pretty much. It's like it fight me with bitch. your hands. It's like yeah. bitch is Captain Marvel. She can fucking Yeah blast and a hole kind of, the size I don't know, of man. And it's not like she's a bad character. It's just... Oh, I love Captain Marvel. Can we go any more Super Saiyan than this chick did in this movie? Not not much. (laughs) And not give credit to it? I mean... (laughs) She's so fucking powerful. Let's just go Super Saiyan. That's why I think... think That's the main reason I like 
I'm okay with this film, at least more than you are, is because of the character itself. Captain Marvel is just, I mean, she's the most powerful being that we have met. Well, maybe not being, but powerful good guy that we have met yet out of all sure. characters. I mean, she'd kick Thor's ass. But... This is this entire time. That, that's another thing, too. So the entire time, she's just non-existent. The, the entire... Dealing with all these problems in this entire time, she's just too powerful to help. Well, as she says, there's more than one world. So she's got the power to tr travel multiverses? And, like, no. travel to other realms and, like, other universes no, and shit? No, other realms. Other worlds. So She's, tra she's traveling other to all galaxies. Other, galaxies and other galaxies and saving other people. Yeah. But then, but she, but she's from Earth, right? Yeah. I don't you run think away Earth too. would be important? And Thanos is there nah, killing everybody. And she's okay with it. Oh, he like blimps there. She does not have the power to blimp there. <laughs> right, but it's. <laughs> no, I understand your point though. No, I totally agree. But like, like they know fucking Thanos is coming, and like it's they know one of those. It's characters. tough. Like, we're just gonna write it's in one of those things where we're getting yelled at because we don't have enough women characters, so we're just gonna fucking write there and have her be over have, have the overpowered character come in now. Now we gotta write this other crazy shit in here. It's just I don't know, dude. I just that's part of my other reason with it. It's just yeah. It, it's just an unnecessary need to write an overpowered character in for unnecessary problems who doesn't play any role in everything you've built into the roles of all these other movies you've made for the last 20 fucking years, not 20, 10 years. And it's just weird. Dude. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. It's tough. With... That's my problem with it, dude. It's just, yeah. no. I, and I see it. I see. Why introduce a new character now? Like 10 years of building up character lore, new character now for what reason to help? Yeah. Like, I don't know, dude, to It'd come been... in and throw one fucking punch and I don't know. You think it would have been better if it wasn't uh, the fact that she gained all this power in 1980 or whatever? You think it would have been better off if if she was new, like completely? Yeah. Well, that's well, that's what I'm saying. That's part of my part of my issue is that like she's gone, and then like Thanos comes and fucks all this shit up, and then. She like they could have <laughs> done something to have her there. I get what it is, right? Oh, she's off planet, but that's just to me. That's just a shitty plot avoidance to get away from her helping them save them from fucking Thanos killing everybody. And it's just like, well, you yeah. know this motherfucker was destroying shit, and Thor knows about Thanos, right? So you know all these people know about this motherfucker. So it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just weird that it's just you you're telling me that. Fury could have been like, oh, fuck, this dude's killing motherfuckers. And it's just, I don't know, dude. It's just weird. He waits till right before he dies to message her and shit. It's just crazy, dude. It's because he's got faith in Avengers. I don't know, dude. Except they fucked up. I don't got that much faith in those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you got the most powerful fucking being in the universe. Like, this bitch can just smack down people and you just wait. Like, this just makes, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's lots of factors for it, I think, but I, I gotta see. Movie as a whole, I just did, I didn't like. Yeah. See. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotta doing. see. I think Iron Man Two is a better film than it, but you know, Thor, Thor, Dark World, and Iron Man Three. Yeah, I know. I agree. I mean, I'm talking shit. I think Thor, Thor, Dark World, Iron Man Three are definitely worse movies than this movie is. Yeah. I. I I, I would almost say that Iron Man two and this movie are on the same level. Would you? Yeah, I don't. I don't think this movie is the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life by far. I just, as far as like superhero movies go, it's just, it's just not, it's not good compared to some of the other stuff. I, it, I don't know. I just, it's just weird, man. I just felt like it was weird compared to everything else. Yep. <clears throat> now we got Endgame. Bah. Bah. <laughs> Thanos wins. Let's ruin it. Well, yeah. 
got it. You gotta save everyone. You gotta it's win, a guys. I'm fine with it, man. I, 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 you know, you, you talked about you gotta, you know, every that's the problem is, is when we talked about Infinity War, and you talked about how people are gonna die. I didn't go into it thinking that or even worried about anybody dying because you knew they were gonna reverse it. However, it was gonna happen. They were gonna find a way to change it where nobody died. Yeah. So like, even with like you know, the one Gamora dying and then Black Widow dying in this one. Okay, so realistically... And then Iron Man and Captain that America. That was the only... The, only, the, only, the Captain America one I'm not even really upset about because that was actually really good depth. The Iron Man one was the, mo- the most emotional one to me out of all of it. Because he fucking died, like, giving his life for everybody else. You know, and like the Black Widow one was sad, but I didn't have as much attachment to her character sure. as other people might have. Sure. But it was still sad, right? Because it's a sad scene because she she sacrifices herself, right? Yeah. So it's in it was it's sad, and she dies for real, so it sucks. But it was kind of like, oh, I get it, right? She's not a good person. She was a fucking assassin for Christ's sake. Like so, <laughs> it's kind of like. All right, yeah, she's paying her dues, right? She's getting that red out of her ledger, so she's she's letting it go. So she's kind of giving her her life to help the greater good. So I understand her her end of it. So I, I get it. The Gamora death was more sad than the Black Widow death. Sure, I, can I was see that. I was more sad about the Gamora one than I was about Black Widows. And then the Tony Stark death was just fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> I, I was almost crying, dude. I don't cry in a lot of movies, but that one fucking got me. <laughs> Just because the epicness, man, where he's like fucking gets the glove, dude, and he all the stones come up and he snaps and he's like, I am Iron Man, and he fucking snaps. Just pure epicness of like, you know, 10 plus years of movies and him being Tony Stark just was fucking amazing, man. Tony Stark? Tony, Tony, Tony Stark? <laughs> don't you think and then what we talked about before the started the fan service in this movie was amazing don't be wrong I loved all everything about the fan service right you, you mean the, the fucking the hammer with Captain America fucking yeah. dude all of it right even the, the, the chick scene was great where they all get together and they all fucking go in and kick ass that's where the Black Widow thing kind of sucks because she was like the first one and she didn't get to be a part of that yeah so that kind of blows a little bit of Donkey Although balls, let's but... take a quick second of how much development Black Widow took from Iron Man 2. Like, <laughs> yeah, didn't realize who she was in the first Iron Man. Or second yeah. Iron Man. Second Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she plays such a big role, you know, in, in, the, in a lot of it. It's just really cool to see what she ends up being worth and what she comes and stuff. I mean, I, I love, I love her character. I'm happy that she gets her own movie coming out. Right. So it's finally fun to see something come of her character, but. Oh yeah. I love, I love Scarlett Johansson, man. Yeah. No, I, and this movie's, it's an amazing movie, man. I just, um, I think infinity war is better. Yeah. I got this. I'll tell you right now. I get this at a plus. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you there. Okay. I, I feel like it's, um, Oh, man, I just there's a, there's a lot of it that I really love, and there's a lot of it that I just uh, I just I don't know. I, I was it was another one of those ones where I was kind of like, man, you know, like all right, oh, time travel, fucking time travel movies again, you know, like let's go back and take shit around, and, and it, I don't know, man, it was a little weird. And then the w- with the Captain America one going back and, and being able to age, I liked that. That was cool, you know, letting him get his life and stuff was well deserved. You know what I mean? Yep. And no, stuff, put him in an Ant Man soup and have him reverse his age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, right. I mean, there's there's so much we can get out of some of the stuff, but it's just yeah. that's the problem with when you fuck with time travel in movies, man. Plot holes develop, and you start fucking with shit. And it, and I'm not usually one to knock on plot holes. But it starts getting weird, and you start messing with stuff, and then yeah, I usually don't try to stick to those types of things. But it's just you start messing with it, and it gets a little weird, and then like that, that throws me off when you get weird in movies. And 
I, d- I wasn't the biggest fan of Smart Hulk. Yeah. Smart, Smart Hulk was a little weird. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of goofy. Yeah, I wish we had a little more. I wish we got to actually see that process. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm, I was maybe missing. So. Oh, yeah. But it was a fun movie, dude. It was a good oh, yeah. time. One more. Spider Man Far From Home. Far From Home. We talked a little bit about this. Hmm? We talked a lot about this one. Did we? Yeah, when we did a Spider Man one. It's a fun movie, man. You know, as far as the MCU stuff goes, it's it's not horrible. It's not great. You know. I need a little more New York. Yeah, I mean, could have. <sighs> no, I, I get what you're saying. Oh, Mysterio part again with it being faked, basically, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's always kind of. I mean, I hope this doesn't become a habit. For sure. Yeah, we'll see what the new ones coming out. Stuff coming out. We'll see what happens with characters and what they do with them. Yep. I'd like them just to stick more towards. They don't have to keep them traditional, but just don't don't fuck with them too much, you know. Yeah. You can change what they do a little bit, but you change what there are, but you don't have to. Oh man, don't don't try to fucking make them completely different. Uh, where you got this? Shit. <clears throat> but, I mean, I was arguing like CB just because of what everything else, just because of how much of everything else in this film. But we can go, we can go C plus B somewhere on there would be fine. Yeah, yeah, right. we'll C plus. It was a solid film. Yeah, it's a fun movie. And the thing is, man, most of these movies, except for the, those bottom ones. Except for those those D's. <laughs> yeah, basically. The C the C's and up are better than most movies being made. Yeah, I agree. You know, I don't know who the fuck knocked it. Was it Scorsese, I think? Or Nolan. One of them fucking knocked comic book movies. And I'm like, well dude, it's not their fault that they're putting out quality shit and everybody else is putting out garbage. <laughs> You know, because I, you know, like you, you know, I've watched movies and then I'm so turned off by most media, especially in movies and television, because most of it's trash. And it's like you watch it, you're like, oh, this sucks. And a lot of it is because most of these movies are good fucking films, man. You know, and a lot of it, the stuff that I complain about it is me being fucking really picky, you know. Yeah. I love most of these movies. I'll rewatch them for years to come and still enjoy them and love them forever. But, forever and ever. You know, and there's comic book movies that are older than this that I still enjoy that I feel like are even better than some of these. That first Blade movie is fucking amazing and it doesn't get enough credit because it's, you know, it's a hard R and, you know, like the Deadpools, right? Those are great comic book films. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's just you know, a lot of good stuff out there, man. And the MCU universe, man, it's just gonna keep growing. They're gonna keep making them. They keep making money. Oh yeah, especially with the TV shows now, right? So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to move any of these, or do you like where everything's at? Oh, man. What are you thinking, dude? You feel mm. like you move something? <laughs> you got the mouse, dude. I got the mouse. <laughs> nah, we'll keep it. Yeah, I'm fine with it, dude. I don't really feel like I'm any... Maybe a couple years. Three, four, five years. Come back when there's like... 40 of these 
<laughs> Just 20 more of them. Not 40 oh, more, but... Oh, God. I don't even want to know what they're going to keep doing now. Well, oh, because we got Doctors. More Doctor Strange, Black Widow, right? Another Spider-Man. Yeah, those three for sure. Is there going to be another Captain Marvel, I'm assuming? I don't think so. they got to expand more on the her character, right? Yeah. I'm sure they'll do something on where what she's been... You know, what she was up to between yeah. the end of that movie and end game or yeah end game yeah. infinity or whatever so cool oh when she goes yeah, crashing huh? through thanos's ship though man that's pretty no, epic. dude that scene is well the scene where he fucking does something right didn't he, like headbutts her that's fucking hilarious dude. i didn't yeah. make fucking takes it like a tamp <laughs> bitch <laughs> anyways well, the, well, my favorite is the whole the end game though is when fucking uh, Scarlet Witch fucks Thanos up, dude. Oh my god, she is so fucking powerful. She starts she starts tearing him apart, this fucking armor apart and shit, and then he starts he has to have the ship like fired out on him. But our men fire, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, because she is fucking him up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I okay. seen him. <laughs> I seen a meme the other day, she where she's like, she's like, you took everything from us, and it was like, well, I didn't kill it, I didn't take anything. All I did was took your computer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, was, it was like everybody else killed your parents. Somebody killed your brother. And it was like, what is it? like? Stark killed your parents. Somebody killed your brother. He's like, I just took your computer. <laughs> it was, it had something like it that had my something on it or some shit. I was cracking oh, up. Man. Yeah. Yeah, man, you need to watch WandaVision and yeah, I'll have to Falcon and the Winter Soldier, man. That's, that shit's great. Me and Rebecca are watching Grimm right now, so that's our TV show we're watching. Uh, so after that, we'll probably watch WandaVision. Okay. Well, right. like and subscribe. Yeah. All that watch fun it. jazz stuff. Uh, I think there's a notification bell. <laughs> Yeah, there's a notification bell. Hit it. Smash it. Smash that bell. Smash all of the buttons on your YouTube page. <laughs> all of them. Like all and dislike. Them. Do both of them. Do the dislike one first and then the like one afterwards. <laughs> okay. Everybody have a good night.